We empower the next generation of sports content by capturing biomechanically accurate human motion data live in real time. We use computer vision, so it's totally markerless, no wearables. The beauty of data is that the opportunity to use it becomes endless. By really capturing um, the player movement and motion and the type of data that that can then provide to us that we could then turn into some type of really amazing visualization and or just even commentary from a broadcast standpoint is really exciting. It's something that no one else is doing. We work with the data that comes out of that. We utilize in three main use cases. In the live broadcast to better tell sports stories for sports gambling to create new proprietary betting products and also to create new 3D content formats inside of game engines like Unity and Unreal. Imagine, you know, somebody's going down the half pipe and, you know, they come off the side and you see them fly in the air, but you don't know how high they're going. We can probably get that a couple, you know, a little bit later and tell you, but if you could have it in the moment, like how much more engaging and exciting would that be for the audience that's watching it? Skeletal tracking at any scale and volume can become a, a large infrastructure problem. One of the big values that the technology offers is that it's relatively easily deployable and relatively cost effective. Normal motion capture A is not applicable in most scenarios and for what and for motion capture that it is, we're talking really, really high-end expensive projects. And it enables um, us to capture data where we previously thought we wouldn't be able to, um, either through cost or time to rig and set up. Because we can capture that data, we can make some pretty interesting predictions around likelihood of event outcome, whether that's Rory McIlroy and how close he hits a ball to the pin, or whether that who's most likely to swing next in a boxing match, or who's most likely to get punched in the face. And then once you have that data, the opportunity to productize it or create a consumer or a viewer interaction with that, whether it be a straightforward use case with our uh, talents in a studio, or something you can interact with on your phone or shadow uh, at home using um, some of the new innovation we have in our new Sky Glass product. So we can show the viewers new angles they've never seen before. We can recreate the live event in a virtual setting, animated, and, let, and offer a, a new view or even a new proposition to customers. The actual sports experience that we wanted to create at the end of the day was, can somebody stand next to LeBron James with an AR headset on or a VR headset or in the metaverse? And can you actually stand there and watch as LeBron James shoots the, the game-winning shot in the NBA final? Not courtside, not in good seats, but can you stand next to him on the court? The lack of latency really separates movers from competitors. We can recreate the live event in under five seconds and get that out to our customers. We see ourselves as an, as an empower. Right? We just want to empower the next generation of how content creators can actually engage with fans and consumers.